ലോകജാലകത്തിലൂടെ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിത പങ്കാളിയെ കണ്ടെത്താൻ Management ideas of the 1990s, Peter Drucker was the first scholar to write about how to manage knowledge workers with his earliest work appearing in 1969. Drucker's addressed topics like management of professionals, the discipline of entre- entrepreneurship and innovation and how people make decisions. In 1982, Tom Peters and Robert Waterman wrote in Search of Excellence, which became an international bestseller as share a business revolution by changing the way managers view their relationship with employees and customers. On the basis of the author's research focusing on 43 of America's most successful companies in six major industries, the book introduced nine principles of management that are embodied in excellence organization 1 managing ambiguity and paradox the ability of managers to hold two opposing ideas in mind at the same time and until still be able to function effectively 2 a bias for action a culture of impatience with lethargy and inertia that otherwise leaves organizations unresponsive 3 close to the customer staying close to customer to understand and anticipate customer needs in one four autonomy and entrepreneurship action that foster innovation and nurture customer and product champions five productivity through people treating rank and file employees as a source of quality six hands on value driven and management philosophy that guides everyday practice and shown management commitment 7 stick to the needing stay with what do you well and the businesses you know best it simple form learn stuff the best companies have very minimal lean headquarters stuff 9 stimulus lost tight properties Three autonomy shop floor activities plus centralized values. Following up, Peters wrote a passion for excellence, which placed further emphasis on leaderships, innovation, and valuing people. His book Thriving on Chaos published the day of the biggest stock market crash of the time, Black Monday, October 19, 1987. Address the Arsentently of the Times and Liberation Management, published in 1992, laid out 45 prescriptions for how to lead companies in the rapidly changing world. The book called for empowering people by involving everyone in decision making and eliminating bureaucratic rules and humiliating condition. Peters are organizational leaders. managers to celebrate and recognize employees for their contributions his advice to leaders to master paradox develop and label of comfort with complexity and ambiguity and establish direction for the company by developing and inspiring vision and leading by example beginning in the 1970s warren bennis pioneer a new theory of leadership that addressed the need for a leadership to have vision to communicate that vision more than just a manager an effective leader was defined as a someone with ability to influence and motivate others not only to perform work tasks but also to support the organization's values and meet the organization's goal different views of leadership through the ages are shown next views of leadership through the ages a leader as a dealer in hope napoleon as i suppose that leadership at one time meant muscle but today it means getting along with people in deria grandhi what leaders really do set direction align people and motivate people john coulter a takeaway early management theorists develop principle for managing organization that suit the times 
A century ago, few workers were highly educated, most work was manual, tasks were repetitive, and rates of change were as low. Hierarchy brought unity and control and principles of management in which managers define tasks and coordinate workers to move in a unified direction made sense. As the economy moved from manufacturing to services, the need of engaging workers' mind and hearts became more important. Drucker, Peters, and Waterman presented ideas on how managers could achieve excellence in a continually changing business environment, while Venice encouraged managers to become inspiring leaders who empowered people. Exercises 1. What goal seems to dominate early management principles? 2. Do you see any communities between files, principles of management from 1911 and those of Tom Peters in 1990s? 3. Are there any jobs today for which time and motion study would make sense to do? Would any other skill need to be taught as well? 4. What do early managers' principles leave out? 5. How would you put some of the ideas of the 1990s into practice? 6. What aspect of POLC would be most likely to change based on what you had learned in this section? 7. Retrieve January 28, 2009 from Cheaper by the Dozen. Cheaper by the Dozen was made into a 1950 motion picture staring Clifton Webb and Myrna. Loy as Frank and Lillian Gilbert. 8. St. Clair U, 1911 June. A Criticism, American Magazine, 243-244. Taylor F. W., June 1911. An Answer to Criticism, American Magazine, 243-244. Retrieved January 28, 2009.